Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about PayPal and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question I keep getting a lot on my other video, and that is how do you request a refund on PayPal? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna request a refund on PayPal anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you signed up for a certain software to help you out with your online business, but it's not exactly what you expected, so you wanna go ahead and request a refund through PayPal. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the PayPal app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my PayPal now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my PayPal. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, you're going to see a list of your most recent transactions. But before we go any further, if you're going to request a refund on PayPal, first off, generally you want to go ahead and contact the service first, because if you have an issue with their service, a lot of times companies will just go ahead and refund you the money. However, sometimes, especially with software companies, it's hard to get a hold of someone. So this is another way that you can request a refund directly through PayPal, especially if the transaction qualifies for PayPal protection. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and scroll through until you find the transaction. So we'll use this one through TubeBuddy as an example, and just click on the transaction that you want to request a refund for. Okay. So once you click there, you're going to see a drop down menu. And what you want to do is go ahead and click on this line right here called report a problem. Okay. So once you click there, you're going to see more information about that particular transaction. And in order to request a refund through PayPal, you want to click on this button button down here at the bottom called report issue to PayPal. Okay, so now you get a drop down menu with various issues that you might have with a seller. And in order to request a refund, usually what I'll do is I'll scroll down until you see this box called issues with your purchase. And I click on this line right here called I want a refund for all or all of the items in this order. Okay, next you want to go ahead and try to fill this out as much as possible because this is going to help PayPal determine the investigation if you should get a refund for this particular purchase or not. So first go ahead and put in the item name. This is pre-populated with TubeBuddy because that's the name of the company. Sometimes it's not pre-populated, so you want to type that in. Next, go ahead and choose the item type. So this one is going to be a service for me. Next, you want to choose the category if it applies. So let me go ahead and click on other. And then quantity, that wouldn't apply for this one, but if it applies to you, go ahead and change the quantity. And next, you want to click on this blue continue button here at the bottom. Next, you get another drop down menu and you want to choose the option that most applies to your particular situation. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and put I'm not satisfied with the service. And then you want to click on one of these other follow-up buttons. So I'll choose this one. And next you want to click on the blue continue button. Okay. So as this is going through the resolution center with PayPal, somebody is going to read this. So again, you want to go ahead and list off the main points here with your issue. And then also if you have a link to that person or that company's website that describes the type of service that you are supposed to receive, go ahead and put the link here and then go ahead and choose the amount of the refund. So for this one, it's $4. But if you want to go ahead and request a lower amount than that, then you can go ahead and do that as well. And then you want to click on continue. Okay. Next PayPal is going to ask if you've actually contacted the seller or not. If you've already contacted them, go ahead and click yes. If not, click on no. If you did contact them, list off the times that you were able to contact or you attempted to contact that person. And then what the response was down here and then click on continue. Okay. Lastly, if you have any kind of receipts or email chains from that particular vendor or service, you want to go ahead and screenshot that and put it in here also with any kind of receipts or any type of errors if you were trying to use that service and then it just didn't work. And this would help provide evidence why you should get a refund through PayPal and they give you an extra space right here to include any other details that you might think are necessary for PayPal to understand why you're requesting a refund through them. Once you filled everything out, you want to click on this blue submit button. I'm not going to do that because I don't have any problems with TubeBuddy. The service works fine for me. And then once you click on submit, it's going to go to the resolution center for PayPal to start processing that refund. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to request a refund through PayPal, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.